students welcome to sukhvil education today we are going to read evs chapter solids liquid and gases a define the following first melting the process by which a solid changes into a liquid is called melting second condensation condensation the process by which a gas changes into a liquid on cooling is called condensation third evaporation the process by which a liquid changes into vapors in is called evaporation fourth solidification the process by which a liquid changes into a solid on cold uh, on cooling is is called solidification solution a liquid opt, uh, obtained when a solute dissolves in a Se, uh, solvent is called a solution solute plus solvent equals to solution answer the following questions question number 1 what is matter name the three states of matter answer any substance that has mass and occupies space is called matter the three states of matter are solids liquids gases question number 2 differentiate between solids liquids and gases answer solids a part solids are the substance in which particles are very close to each other b they have a fixed shape and volume liquid a liquid liquids are the substance in which particles are not very close or packed b there are no fixed shape there they have no fixed shape and can flow they take the shape of the container they have a fixed volume gases a gases are the substances in which particles are very loosely packed b they have no definite shape or volume question number 3 with the help of an example describe solute solvent and solution answer a a solution is formed when two or more substances mixed together such as such that they are evenly distributed to the sub, the substance that dissolves in uh, is called a solute third the substance in which the solute dissolves is called a solvent for example sugar plus milk equals to sweet milk salt plus water equals to salty water solute plus solvent equals to sol solution question number 4 differentiate between soluble and insoluble substances answer soluble substances the soluble the substances that dissolve completely in a solvent to form a solution for example salt and sugar are soluble in water insoluble substances the substances that do not dissolve completely in the solvent for example sand and chalk are insoluble in water question number 5 how does fil filtration help to move remove insoluble substances answer filtration is defined as the process of separa separating insoluble substances with the with the help of a filter paper on doing so the liquid passes through the filter paper while the insoluble substance uh, substances get returned on the filter paper thank you please subscribe my channel to be a part of sukhvil education cute see cute see family